So Ian, I'm a very well known for tool balancing. Initially, yep. what is tool balancing? Tool, tool balancing is uh, trying to meet a balance grade on a machine tool. Uh, many machine tools, in, in fact all machine tools, should abide by a balance grade of G2.5. So the ISO standard states a rigid rotor should meet G2.5. Now many tool loaders in the market do show a balance grade of 2.5 but what happens is unfortunately when you add weight, so on its own that tool is balanced to G2.5 to 25,000 revs. As soon as we add any weight to this assembly, to the tool holder, it changes completely. So the advice would be, you measure the balance quality to enable you to put it on the machine and run within that specification. And the fact that it looks after your machine tool spindle, increases tool life, machine accuracy, tool accuracy, it's, uh, it's, it, it's something that many people dismiss some people choose not to do. When you say add weight, presumably we were talking about either a cutting tool, maybe a collet on a collet chair? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. If, you, uh, if you consider maybe a, a, a three flute aluminium tool, for instance, so traditionally you'll always see one flute which you will always cut on centre. So if you think about the makeup of that tool, you're adding weight to one side of that assembly. So once that tool is inserted into the, the tool holder, you're throwing more weight, although it's very close to centre, you're throwing more weight onto the top of the tool holder. Sure. Can we have a demo before we go much further? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you've just touched on there. It is essentially adding, removing weight. So this demonstration that we've got here, we're, we're, we've chosen the correction method of using rings. Yeah. And as you can see by the shape of the rings, the software on the machine knows what shape they are. And there's just, just a little laser etched mark on there. And with this laser here, all we do is line them up in a certain position where the machine tells us to, and we should be able to correct uh, mm -hmm. the imbalance. So let's, let's just see what, uh, what this runs at. So this is already... So we should be able to take the first run, which takes five, five ten seconds or so. So what it'll do, it'll run once, and then we rotate the tool assembly 180 degrees. So would it be correct to say when you put a cutting tool in, 99% of the tools are going to be out of balance? Tool and assemblies? Yes, we, we often see that. It, it, what you're looking for is your, your starting point to be as good as possible. So the G2.5, 25,000 revs. Yeah. But yes, more often than not, you do, see, you do see an error. So what we've actually said on this, so we've, we've asked this tool assembly to, to have a balance quality of G2.5 and have the ability to run at 25,000 revs, okay? Now at the minute, it just falls, it's only very slight, but it falls outside that, yeah? So we're at the minute, we're at G2.6, so the maximum revs would be 23,000. So all we're doing is just adding a little bit of weight in a certain position. So if we watch what watch this assembly does now, so it's just rotated ever so slightly. So again, just with the laser etch mark there, we line that up in a certain position. Got my glasses on. So that's one, one way in one position. And then by rights, we should. So again, all we do is just rerun the assembly, and this should give us. So just while this is testing, yeah. Um, what are the benefits? Benefits presumably longevity of cutting tools. Yeah, uh, well, if if you think so, the the, the the tool holder is is the durable piece of equipment. Okay, this should last forever. If looked, go through the heating and sh uh, the shrinking process correctly, this is durable. Yeah, to maximise this bit, which is the consumable. Yeah, we're looking at removing all those negative variables. Yeah, so we increase rigidity, we remove imbalance. Yeah, 
you've just said, touched on it there, tool life, surface finish, machine accuracy. All these negative variables which come into the, the machining process. And spindle life on the actual machine tool itself, which yeah. is expensive, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if you, if you think of a, a you know, me, meter, media, medium cost machine now, uh, a new spindle could be anything between 20 and 40, 45,000 pounds uh, to replace. And then you consider the downtime when the machine's, you know, not working. So just by, so just by adding that weight there in a certain position, we've now corrected the, the balance grade. Now we're at G0.6 and we can quite happily run at 25,000 revs. So what you can actually do, you can actually ask, ask the machine just within the software, we could potentially say, okay, potentially we've got 33,000, yeah? So, so we just changed that to 33,000 there. Resave it, and this should now, right? So even at, if we've got a machine with the capabilities of running 33,000, mm -hmm. we're still at G0.9 and quite happily run it's at 33. Yeah, absolutely. So that will look after your machine tool and maximise the cutting tool. And, and the, 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 pay, the payback on these machines can be, uh, can be a complex equation, can't it? But obviously, if, if, if you save a spindle, it's paid for overnight. But the big one for me is the cutting tools. If the cutting tool is running true within the, within the machine tool spindle, yeah. you save money from day one, aren't you? So to, presumably, the, is, is, is there any metrics on, on tool life? Is an end mill going to last 10% longer if it's balanced? We, we, we've got good data, although it is, it's, it's our data. Uh, but we, we, it's anything between 10 and 25 percent an increase in tool life so you're, pay, you're starting to get paid back from day one immediately but then we say okay so every piece of carbide every piece of every indexable insert you use within your shop if we said okay we're now going to save you 10 percent across the, the life of that machine tool yeah and also you're going to be able to add 10 percent to your cutting data so whether that's direct table feed or spindle speed yeah, there's always a uh, there's always an increase that can be made. Good, and we're based here in Burnley, yep. IME UK. So I guess people need to come and see these. Absolutely, the the showrooms open to anyone. We have uh, resellers and direct customers often often pop in. We we offer a service where if somebody wants to just do a little bit of investigation, yeah, and that's all it is, just to investigate, and you make an informed decision. Then don't you? You come in, we'll measure the balance quality, and then you go away and make a, a decision whether you think it's a, a viable option or not.